Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Marisita Colors in English. Today I will make this beautiful granny square in crochet. I make a flower in the center and I use double crochet, chains, a magic ring. You can make with this granny square blankets, you can make blouses, you can make headbands. You can make all with this beautiful granny square. For the pattern, I will use a wool of two colors, this yellow and pink. I will use my hook number 3,50 millimeters, one scissors and a big needle for joy the yarn at the end of my thread, of my granny square. So we make one magic ring. Look. I wrap my finger with the yarn and the long yarn is in the back of the ring. And with the hook I pass and I bring the yarn. I bring the yarn and I make one loop. And now I make out my finger slowly. And now we have the magic ring. Anillo mágico o aro deslizado en español. Now I will make three chains. Look. Tres cadenetas en español. Three chains. This is uh, like the first double crochet. Inside of this ring I must to have 16 double crochet. So now I have one double crochet. So I must to make 15 double crochet. If you are beginner, look how I make the double crochet. Yard over the hook. We insert into the ring and we bring the yarn. Look. And now we have three loops. Yarn over the hook again, and I pass for two, and for the last two. This is a famous double crochet, vareta en español. And again, I repeat how to make, you can see how you can make the double crochet. Yarn over the hook, we insert into the ring, we bring one loop, yarn over the hook, we pass for two. Jump over the hook and we pass for the last two loops. And like this we must to make 16 double crochet. The yarn at the beginning I make together with the ring and the double crochet. And I continue making the double crochet. Look, the yarn of the begin, you can close a little the ring, slowly, not so strong, for that you can make better your double crochet. And now I almost have the 16 double crochet. I must to count for to know if I have the 16 varetas, 16 double crochet. This is the first round of our granny square. Now count. The first chains are the first double crochet. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and sixteen. This is six varetas. And we must to close. First I close the ring, the yarn of the beginning I push. And then we must to sew it inside in the reverse of my ring. And here I will join, uniremos, unir, with one slip stitch. Join, unir. Here, up of the chains is one stitch, up. And I will make here the famous slip stitch. Punto deslizado en español. And ready. We finish our first round of our granny square is this part, is this green. And now I will make this second round with this double crochet. 
I have eight double crochet. Now I will make three chains like the first double crochet. This is the second round. And here I must to make uh, the arcs. And for make the arcs, I must to make three chains. Look, I must to make this arc. Three chains more. This make one arc. And now I just keep this stitch and I go in the next and up, look up. I will make again the double crochet. And again, nuevamente, again, nuevamente, I will make the three chains. Tres cadenetas. And again, we must make, skip the next stitch and go in the next. And we make the double crochet. Up, look. And I make the double crochet. So, we must to repeat all around and to make the three chains and the double crochet. But always you must to skip one stitch. So we continue until finish our round. Here almost I finish the second round. I make the three chains and I find the chains of the beginning. In the third chain of the beginning here I insert and I make the slip stitch and we will cut the yarn and close. Pass again the yarn in the loop, cut the yarn, pass all the yarn and push the last stitch and ready. We finish our second round. Okay, now we will begin the third Round, la tercera vuelta. Where we finish, where we cut, I pass the hook over this double crochet and I pass the yarn and I make one chain with the new yarn. And after this, I make two chains. And these two chains is like the first half double crochet, media vareta en español. And now inside of the next arc, in this arc, I must to make three double crochet. Look, this is the first double crochet. The second double crochet, la segunda vareta. And the third double crochet. And now we must to make the famous treble crochet. The treble crochet is two times the yarn over the hook. Look, two times. We insert into the arc, we bring one loop, and now we have four loops. The, we pass the yarn from two into, and this is the famous treble crochet. Doble punto alto en español o doble vareta. Again, we must make two treble crochets. And now we must repeat the three double crochet. So all of these stitches we must repeat in our petals. And three double crochet. And now over this double crochet of the previous row, uh, round we must make one half double crochet. The half double crochet we must to turn over the hook, we bring one loop, we have three loops, and we pass for through the three loops. This is the half double crochet. And in the next arc we must to make again the three double crochet. So now you have all the stitches that we must to make in every petal. 
3 double crochet, 2 treble crochet, and 3 treble crochet, and 3 double crochet. After the 3 double crochet, we must to make 2 treble crochet to tie the yarn over the hook. You don't must to make so, uh, you must to make a little uh, softly, not so strong, please. Again, two times the yarn over the hook and we pass from two into until that we have one loop. Three double crochet, two treble crochet and again three double crochet. And you must repeat all around in this round. And always the half double crochet over the double crochet of the previous round. So now we have all the stitches. Look, it's beautiful. I will back for uh, finish this round. Now I am in the last arc. I have seven petals and I must make the eight petal. I must make the half double crochet. And again repeat all the stitches. Three double crochet, two treble crochet and three double crochet again. You can use all the colors in this beautiful granny scoop. Here I made the treble crochet. Vareta doble o doble vareta en español. Treble crochet. You must make a little space in every petal for enter the stitches. And now we made the three last double crochet. And now we must join in the second chain, in the second, like is the first half double crochet in the second. And we make the slip stitch. We must to cut and close this Round. Pass again the yarn, cut and push all with the last stitch. And we have this beautiful flow. In every petal, I have eight stitches. A three plus three double crochet plus the two treble crochet. So, are eight stitches. So, we must to part in two parts these petals. Here in the center, I make four stitches in the right and four stitches. I pass the yarn, the new yarn. I make one chain. And here I will make three chains, tres cadenetas. And here inside of this arc, I must to make two double crochet more. Because the three chains of the beginning is like the first double crochet. So now it's like I have three double crochet. When I am back here, I must to join here. And I must to make this edge. I will show you now in this row. And now we will start to make the square. You must to see how many chains depends of the yarn or the hook that you use. So I will try to show you for that you understand how we make this square. I make one, two, three and four chains. Cuatro cadenetas. And I go in the next petal and we part in two parts. Four in one side and four in the other side. Here in the center, I insert the hook 
and I will make one double crochet. Oh, sorry, one half double crochet, media vareta, half double crochet. And look, you must to notice that these chains make a line. If appears like a arc, you must to make one chain more or one chain uh, less. By example, I will make here six chains. This is only one example for show you, okay? For that you understand that we must to make a line with these chains. Again, in the next uh, petal, in the center, in the in the center of the petal, I will make one double crochet. the second double crochet and the third double crochet but look for this I make this example for that you understand look now these chains make like a one arc but this must be like a line so you must to pro uh, to try with your chains when I see that is a uh, arc, I must to make uh, less chains. I have here uh, six, so I must to make the four chains because I made previous for to know when I have a line. I have four chains, and these make like a line for make the square in the center of the petal. I make the double crochet. We must to make three double crochets in the same place, in the same stitch, in the center of the petal. So I have here the three double crochet, three chains, and again in the same stitch, in the same place, I must to make again the three double crochet. I must to make four edges. So this is the second edge. And look, this form like a line. Where we beginning, we must to make two the six double crochet. So you must to try with your uh, hook and the yarn that you use that you uh, chains make like a line. After this, we go in the next pet petal. And we make the four chains first, always the four chains. In every side is the four chains. And in the center, I will make in the center, that is four in the right and four in the left. Here, I make one half double crochet. So you must alternate the uh, half double crochet and the six double crochet again the six chain the four chains and in the next petal in the center of the petal one two three four and here I make again the three double crochet we must to repeat uh, over the square must to have four edges Three chains, three cadenetas, and again in the same stitch, in the same arc, we must to make the three double crochet. One double crochet. The second, segunda vareta. Y tejemos la tercera vareta. The three, the third uh, double crochet. And look. You can see that now we have the square a little. And again, the four chains, las cuatro cadenetas. Not so strongly, softly. And here in the next petal, in the center, in the four, four in the right and four in the left, we must to make the half double crochet. And we must to repeat in all around over So now I almost finish our 
round, I made a half double crochet, four chains, and here I find the uh, chains of the beginning, and here is I must to make the three chain, three double crochet, because we make in the beginning like three double crochet. So we insert in the same stitch. I will make the three double crochet. Three double crochet in the same stitch where we begin our round. One double crochet. It's a little difficult now. And now the second double crochet, the third double crochet, and the three chain. And we must to join with one slip stitch. So the three chains, and we join up of our chains of the beginning. We must to make the famous slip stitch. And ready. We finish our round. We pass the yarn, cut the yarn, and finish pushing our last stitch. And we finish our beautiful granny square. You must to push a little for that is uh, ready our granny square. Uh, I, I will show you in another tutorial how to make one headband for join these granny squares. Now I will uh, show you how to sew one of the of the yarns. I am in the reverse of my granny square and I pass the uh, the needle and I try to make a loop and pass again the needle in the center of this loop. For that is secure over yarn. And you must to try to pass in the center. You don't must to pass the needle in front of our thread. And little to little you will sew it. And look, you don't see the needle in the front. Only is in the center of the stitches. And like this you will uh, sew it all the yarns in our granny square. And here I can show you how I made this and you don't see the yarns. Okay, I hope that you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Maricita Colors in English and we see us in my next tutorial. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.